Amen? Ephesians 5. Man, they feared the Lord when they saw all of that get licked up, burnt up, and took up. <laughs> Ephesians chapter 5. In verse 8. Hallelujah. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, for the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness, righteousness, and truth, finding out what, the accept, what is acceptable to the Lord. And have what? No fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness, but rather what? Expose them. Did Elijah expose them? Amen. For it is shameful even to speak of those things which are done by them in secret. But all things that are exposed are made manifest by the light, for whatever makes manifest is light. Therefore, he says, awake you who sleep, arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are what? Evil. In other words, the presence of evil is everywhere. Therefore, do not be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And do not be drunk with wine in which is dissipation, but be filled with what? The Spirit speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, and submitting to one another where? In the fear of the Lord. In other words, expose and remove. You'll know them by their fruit. Like again, there's always evidence of the presence of evil. Always. Has everybody got it? Well, I, I want to go somewhere. Um, Joshua. Joshua 7. Joshua 7. Hallelujah. In verse 1. Is everybody there? But the children of Israel committed a what? Trespass regarding the what? Cursed things for Achan the son of Carmi the son of all the rest of them, took the accursed things, so the anger of the Lord burnt against, burned against the children of Israel. Now everybody suffered in the camp because one person had an accursed item. Now an accursed item draws demonic activity. Amen? Now I want you to, now, I want, now listen, the Lord told Joshua to go out and fight. They went out to fight and they lost the battle. Joshua comes back and goes, man, why did we lose the battle? I don't get it. Come on, read this with me. I'll show you. Um, in verse 6, Then Joshua tore his clothes and fell to the earth on his face before the ark of the Lord until evening. And he and the elders in Israel, and they put dust on their heads. In verse 7, And Joshua said, Alas, Lord God, why have you brought this people over to the Jordan at all to deliver us into the hand of the Amorites to destroy us? Oh, that we might have content, been content and dwelt on the other side of, Judah, of the Jordan. Oh, Lord, what shall I say when Israel turns its back before its enemies? For the Canaanites and all the inhabitants of the land will hear it and surround us and cut off our name from the earth. Then what will you do for your great name? And the Lord said to Joshua, get up. Why do you lie thus on your face? Israel has what? In other words, they have associated with the presence of evil. And they have also what? Transgressed. Why? Because they committed the act, what the presence of evil said to do. My covenant, which I commanded them, for they have even taken some of the accursed things and they have both stolen and deceived, and they have put it also where? 
put it among their own stuff. Therefore the children of Israel could not stand before their what? Enemies. But turned their backs before their enemies because they had become doomed to destruction. Neither will I be with you anymore unless you destroy the accursed from among you. Does everybody see that? Accursed items draw demonic activity. If you've got books, magazines, and music, and stuff like that in your home, you cannot defeat your enemy. But it's, an, it's, it's something precious. That's nice. But I, my family, their family, things that have come down. Man, this is grandma and grandpa's gill or a demon picture, you know. This is, come on, this is Uncle Joey's uh, witch doctor friend. Nice. Hello? I remember one time my, my, wife, my wife and I went to a hotel. And I was usually going in and clean out. And I opened one of the things where the TV is, and there was a Buddha there. And I thought, man, I just go put it out. And the Lord said, no, destroy it. So, man, what am I going to do? He said, just put it out in the bag outside. So I took that Buddha and went, poof, destroyed it, put it in the bag and removed it. Put it out in the hallway. And they came and picked it up, and nobody said nothing. Didn't get a bill. Why? Because it was a commanded by the Lord. Now, don't go into hotel rooms and start tearing things up. Amen. <laughs> Taking things off the wall and whatever. Hello. One time I was, I was in another state and I was in a hotel room. And uh, during the middle of the night, these two huge demons came in, and they were lustful demons. And I got up and commanded them to leave, and I'm like, man, there is something in this room. And I was pulling out drawers, and I was looking under the bed, and I'm telling you because there's no way that two big demons like that could come in my room unless there was something in that room. And I finally got to this last drawer, and I pulled it out, and the Lord said, pull it all the way out. Pull it off. I pulled it off, and there was pornographic books stored underneath it. And, of course, I took those things and rolled them up, and I'm thinking, oh, God, how am I going to get it? You know, I, <laughs> I got to get these out of this room, and I'm not waiting until, you know, I'm doing this now. <laughs> so I'm like, and, and there was a garbage can right out in front, and I went, and they moved it. And I'm like, oh, no, so I... Went around the corner and dumped it. And, but anyways, I'm thinking, oh, that's all I need to do is get caught with this thing. It would have been on headlines everywhere, you know. But, you know, when you have accursed items in your home, you cannot defeat your enemy. Amen? It's our responsibility to remove the presence of evil. Removing the presence of evil. Those evil movies, gangster movies, all of that other garbage, books. You know, it's our responsibility to remove these out of our homes. Is everybody okay? Praise God. Turn to James 3. Hallelujah. James chapter 3. In verse 13. Is everybody there? James 3, 13. Would you read it with me, please? Who is wise and understanding among you? Let him show by good conduct that his works are done in the meekness of wisdom. Now, wait a minute now. Remember we said that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And wisdom is what tells you what to do. In verse 14. But if you have bitter envy and self-seeking in your hearts, do not boast and lie against the truth. This wisdom does not descend from above, but is earthly, sensual, and what? Demonic. For where envy and self-seeking exist, confusion and every 